As an old weeb, it's nice to find anime that's kind of geared towards adults, that is relatable to adults. Sure, it's cool seeing teenagers saving the world, but we've seen that a million times. Sure, it's cool watching teenagers fall in love, but I kind of feel like a creep after a while. So I was pleasantly surprised to come across this series that is hilarious and sometimes painfully relatable as an adult. I'm talking about Life Lessons with Uramichi Onisan. This is a short series, it's only 13 episodes, you can catch it on Crunchyroll, but it's sort of a slice of life gag anime. It focuses on these adults working at a television show for small children. The thing about it is you see all of the sort of internal struggles that these adults on the show have and sometimes they let that out, sometimes they get a little too real with the kids and you see Ramichi Onisan's anxiety just come through when he starts telling the kids things that he shouldn't be telling them because it's devastating stuff and really depressing. It's very relatable and it's very funny and it's sometimes a little bit painful. The characters are all very fun in their own ways. You have Ramichi who is the gymnast Onisan. He, uh, that's his character, but he's basically a former gymnast. He loves working with the kids. He really cares about them, but at the same time, you can tell he's not quite happy with his life. All he really enjoys is working out, and sometimes he feels the effects of age coming on. He's in his early 30s, but he'll, you know, hurt his neck by moving it the wrong way or hurt his back one day or something like that. And he's alone, and he doesn't quite get along well with other people sometimes, even though everybody loves him. He just kind of keeps to himself, and he works out, and he goes to work, and that's about all he does. He drinks, he smokes, he copes with life the best he can and tries to be this good role model for the kids. You've got all this group of co-stars. You've got Tadano, who is this singer. She's also in her 30s. She's been living with her boyfriend for many years, but she has this fear that she's never going to get married, and she's just growing older. And there's the other singing Onisan, Ikateru. This guy's a character. All he ever thinks about is food. He seems like he's this deep guy lost in thought, but he's just thinking about food. And for some reason, he can't tell time on an analog clock or watch, and he struggles with this, and he, he's got this childish sense of humor. Every time somebody says something that sounds kind of dirty, he just starts laughing uncontrollably. And there's all these running gags throughout the show, and that's really great. They don't grow tiresome. You just appreciate them every time. It's always funny when this dude starts wheezing, laughing so hard. It's always funny when one of Uramichi's insecurities comes to haunt him during the show. And, you know, maybe he draws something that looks stupid and crazy and he doesn't like it. And then it becomes a popular character or a mascot for the show. And now he has to stare at it every day, this thing he hates. And there's just so much stupid stuff they got to put up with. The director of the show will make them wear jackets on a blazing hot day because they're filming a Christmas segment ahead of time or they'll film the beach episode in the middle of winter when they're all freezing and it's just stupid stuff but it's like it's so funny it's just so funny and the struggles of the characters are so relatable and just so lovable to grow on you over time there's a couple of mascot characters one is always wearing a bunny suit the other one's in a bear suit Rodomichi kind of likes to clown on them a lot and pick on them a lot but they really look up to him and try to be his friend uh, there's always some friction there but those two are good buddies and this is a show that's it, it feels like a sitcom basically it feels like a sitcom it's not really about anything in particular other than the character developments and the running gags it's just a good time this was actually based on a web manga that's still going on today, so I think there's plenty of material for more seasons of this show. I hope we get more. I would love to see more episodes and more stories with these characters just struggling with day-to-day -day lives and experiencing hilarious situations. So if you're in the mood for something funny and relatable and kind of adult-oriented, not in the way of it being like very inappropriate for younger people, but it's just... It's aimed at older working people who suffer through life and need a laugh or somebody to relate to. It's ridiculous. It's very cool. Yeah, have you seen this show? Let me know your thoughts on Life Lessons with Uramichi Onisan. Have you seen this? Have you read it? Tell me what you think. This one was recommended by nobody. Again, I'm sorry guys. This was just something I watched not too long ago. I felt like talking about it because I have been very busy lately. If you don't care, then... Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. If you want a quick channel update, I realize I haven't uploaded in almost a month. Um, yeah, so I talked about in the GTO video, 
I was talking about how that series actually inspired a lot of people to become teachers in real life. And I made a comment like, I need to do something with my life, maybe I should too. Well, I got to thinking about it, and I decided to go for it. So I am in grad school now, and all of my free time is going out the window, trying to get my coursework done and, and get done with this thing as quickly as possible. Get a new job, a new career, a fresh start in life, because I gotta do something. Maybe YouTube will pay the bills one day, but today is not that day, so I'll upload whenever I can. I just haven't had the time to watch a lot of anime right now and, and make videos, but I appreciate everybody sticking around, and in my absence, I've gotten a lot of nice comments and new subscribers. I want to thank you. I appreciate you all very much. I'm still surprised that anybody's watching my videos, so <laughs> thank you so much. That does mean a lot to me. I will be back whenever I can. I still have my list of recommendations I'm going to get through. It's just taking me a while now because life, you know. I love hearing from you though. And uh, yeah, just thank you so much for the support. I will see you real soon. You guys take care. Have a good one. See you next time.